Hello, poker people! My name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the next episode of our Omega Ruby Journey. Yes, indeed, and I... I am so happy, and the reason I am so happy is you guys. You were overwhelmed. Seriously, you were all overwhelming. You all attacked me as, like, a group of people. I barely fought you all off. It was unreal. It was an epic showdown of Ultimate Destiny. There was good guys. There was bad guys. There was explosions. As far as the eye could see. But I survived. No, but seriously, the support and love and everything on the last episode was glorious. It was, yeah. You've made me so happy, and I'm even more excited than I was before for this series, and I was already shaking with excitement, so I'm positively vibrating. I never thought I'd be in a situation in my life where I had to announce that I was positively vibrating, but there we have it. So thank you very much, all of you. I will endeavor to make this the best playthrough I can, and we're going to have all the fun. So here we are, beating up this random kid, Zigzagoon, because, you know, we like beating up random kids. It makes us all happy. And good, we uh, crushed his dreams of ever being a Pokemon trainer, so that makes me really happy. I love a bit of dream crushing me. Don't you guys just love a bit of dream crushing? Die, Calvin! Oh, I lost. I should have trained mine more. Yes, you should have. George received 64 for winning. You see that bandage on his nose? Yeah, he didn't have that before we battled him. <laughs> ah, cool. So, we are on Route 102, and a lot of you suggested I should walk around with the Dex Nav, so I'm gonna do exactly that. Alright, let's sneak. Let's sneak. Gonna go grab that tail. Gonna go do it. I kinda like this system, I will admit. So, as far as the polls went, a lot of you... In fact, I'll just say the winners. Most of you went... Read out everyone's voices, do the odd silly voice, do it how you're doing, have fun, it's all good. So, that's about right. And then a lot of you were like, take every wild encounter, if you don't want to capture it, then just run. And yep, that makes sense, that's all good. And in terms of reading out, just read out everything. So, I'm happy, that was all the things I thought would win, and they did. So, it's good to know we're all on the same wavelength, and everything's going to be going how... The vast majority of you want it to go. I'm sure most of you don't really mind either way, honestly. I mean, really. We're just here to have pokey fun. It's not like any of you are going to leave the series. <laughs> ah, already! Three minutes in! There it is! Like a boss! Alright, let's capture this Zigzagoon, simply because it's special. Apparently, the Puccienna I missed last time had a special move that I completely just didn't feel the need to get, so feel kind of bad about that, but I had no idea. As I've said, completely blind to Omega Ruby, so I will discover these things as we go along. So we've got the Sigzagoon, and oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's a lot more impressive than it was before. That's really neat. Zigzagoon. Well, I know exactly what I'm calling, calling him. I'm going to call him Goon. Wait, 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 wait. Goon Zag Zig. Go! Zag Goon Zag Zig, the Zig Zagoon! I think that just, you know, makes everything. I. I realize it's a stupid name, but at the same time. I mean, really? Come on. Goon, Z Goon Zag Zig? I think it makes sense. So, what special item do we think? He not special item. Yeah, what special. Oh, he actually does have an item. Um. I'm going to take it off you. It's mine now. He had a potion! I don't know why I said that in a voice like that, like it was ridiculous. So I guess Charm was probably his special move. That makes potentially a bit of sense. Needless to say, he's not going to survive being in the main party for long. I'll tell you that for now. <sighs> Alright. Awesome. What I do want to do, guys, though, is I want to endeavour as much as possible to do an episode of this every single day, which means there will be episodes. Hello, bug catcher. Ha ha, our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Not if I exterminate them. Because like a bug, I know, hilarious, am I right? But there will of course be episodes if I'm going to maintain this one a day, which I really want to do, because I think that's the best, you know, keep it going forward, keep you always something to come back to. I think it makes a lot of sense for both you guys and me, because, you know, it really keeps it sort of in the forefront of my mind. Yes, more Pokemon, let's do it, gonna be good. And that just makes it better, so yeah, there we go. And of course, you guys get more stuff to watch, so why are you complaining? Seriously, Terry, Terry, why are you... 
why are you complaining? Is it this Wormple? Is it this Wormple using string shot? Is you currently covered in string? Is that why you is complaining? Why is I talking like this, you ask? I have no idea, I'm I'm sorry. We're just gonna we're just gonna pound this Wormple. I can't wait to um not have to have pound on Lieutenant Leaf because it means I have to keep saying the sentence, I'm going to pound insert here. That's um that was not a good way of saying it, actually. I'm going to pound insert here that hmm. We'll cut that out. We will cut that out, actually. What I was trying to say, though, is there will, of course, be episodes. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There will, of course, be episodes where I've not been able to look at the comments, etc., for the previous one because it's simply not gone up yet. If you if you get me, because I will be recording a few in a day. So, you know, every now and then you've got to remember there will be points where I don't address something that may have come up, but that's not because I've ignored you, it's because of just how the scheduling's worked out. Which also kind of applies to a box, a lot of you were like, ooh, what's that? And I deliberately didn't speak about it, because I wanted to see what your reactions would be, but the best comment award is basically every time I see a comment that I'm like, ha, ah, that was, yes, alright, did you really just say that? You know, any comment that makes me have a really big reaction, I'm just gonna share it with you guys. Put the name of the commenter in that box and give you a link to look at the comment. Just as a little bit of fun to know that you all might end up on the show, even if you don't intend to be when you comment on the video. So I think it'll be a little bit of fun. And to say that, of course, we have the first one. And this was an interesting one because I could just imagine the journey he went on in his head to come up with this comment. And there we go, Surskit. I didn't want to catch it because I hate Surskit, so I thought I might as well claim the XP just in case special Pokemon give more XP. So that was the thinking there. I wasn't just, you know, randomly forgetting and killing it, which I bet a few of you thought I was. There you go, Lieutenant Leaf. Enjoy your potions of nominus. Uh, yeah. So today's, you know, comment award, you can just see the mental pathways he took to get there. And it's really quite amusing to me, so take it what you will, take it or leave it, you know. <laughs> did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Bitch! What did you say? Me? Beginner? I'm about to school your ass, Alan. Oh, Alan, you with your lame, lame Sableye t-shirt. Who bought that for you? Your mum? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm five. Like, of course she bought it for me. Like, what, did your mum not buy close to you when you were five? No, she didn't. I slept in a box. Um, I mean, I'm totally talking about Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should probably focus a little bit more on the game. I'm just in a really happy mood because of... Like, the overwhelming just awesomeness from you guys, I really, really am. And I guess, honestly, at the start of Pokemon, there's there's not much to do here. I'm pressing fight and spamming pound until I pound them into submission. So, <laughs> so really, it's not like there's a lot of tactical depth to these battles to discuss. Later on, of course, there will be times... Ooh, quick attack. Nice. That's awesome. I'm, of course, going to keep battling because I don't care about Goon Zegzig at all. Taylo! I do like Taylo, because I think Swellow is awesome. Really? Level 2? Are you cray cray? That's not good. That's not, that's not very, no. That's going to be super, wow. Wow, what would have been normal effective, a grand total of one damage. Mate, that, that Taylo is better used for a nice bit of chicken breast more than a Pokemon. I mean, I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I said it. I did. That's, you know... I'm sorry, but you, you're a terrible Pokemon trainer and you should go home. I mean, why are you not even in school right now, kid? Like, honestly, I mean, I commend your truancy. You got the, you got the balls on you, but like, just what are you doing? We'll claim these orange berries, mainly because I like hoarding things and I want these berries now, and now that they're, now they're mine. So, yeah, that's how, that's how that works. Also, because I'm hoping that actually they belong to someone, so I'm technically stealing them and then I'm like, ha ha ha. So over here is background where I begun, so we are going- Oh, there's still Pokemon I've not caught in this area. Really? That surprises me. I feel like you're gonna turn and- Hey, hey, I I'm onto you! I'm onto you, lady! Oh, I am! Oh, oh, uh, nope, calm. Sneaky, sneaky. 
Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> I tried my best. I tried my best, guys. I tried the sneaky. The sneaky didn't work. You are challenged by Last Tiana. Okay, Last Tiana. Zigzagoon. Ah, I've not seen one of them before. I'm joking, of course. I've seen lots. I am going to kill it, though, so. I guess I'm not killing it, though, because we're not nuzlocking. That's a little bit less lame. Less lame? More lame? M more less? I don't know which one is correct in this context. That's whatever level of lame you guys deem it to be. That's what I'm gonna say. And vom. Oh, really? We gotta do another one? I guess I probably should use quick attack. Quick attack's just actually powerfuler, isn't it? I'm thinking than pound? Yeah, it is, because it's got less PP. Pee <laughs> pee. Pee pee. I'm technically an adult, guys. I know, you'd never would have thought it, would you? You really never would have thought it. Goodbye, Lastiana. I ended up furthering your career. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, yes, you did. It's okay, because in the future, you can tell your children that you once knew the majestic trainer named Josh. You once battled with him and got absolutely destroyed. And then they will be like, ha ha. And then I'll pop in and be like, ha ha. And then we'll all have fun. Hey, May. How are you? I apparently May is 12 in this game, which is actually younger than I thought, but also older than I initially said, so I guess win-win? How's it going, Josh? Have you been using your dex nav and perfecting your sneaking skills? Yeah, I'm, I'm a ninja, basically, actually. I'm actually a ninja. You didn't even see me here. I'm a decoy right now. Any moment, I'm going to turn into a piece of wood, and I'm going to start yelling jujitsu at you. Probably maybe Shadow Clone as well, now that I think about it. I hope you already checked out the Devnax Detector Mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in it right now, actually. I am I'm detecting the hell out of this. Ah Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Look up there, check him out, Josh! I will definitely check Oh beautifree! Beautifly even I totally know what Pokemon are. They they look like they're kind of uh, like they don't look like they're flying. They don't. They look like they're having a little attack as they were flying away from me. Yes, those were Beautifly. And I imagine you'll end up with one because that's what you do. But wow, we already made it through one, Route 102, huh? But, mate, it was, it was like 100 meters long. I mean, we could see from one end to the other. Like, in the Pokemon Center in the previous town, we could see the... That's fine. No, we achieved things. You believe that. We we achieved the things. We, we did, May. It's okay. There, there. Pat, pat. I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. You weren't with me the entire way, actually. You just showed up at the end and then claimed that we're friends. I don't even know. I, I, who? No. Oh, I look. There's Pedalberg already. Josh, your dad. He's, he's an ain't. Oh, he's the gym leader in Pedalberg City, isn't he? Maybe I should try to take him on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ayo! Oh, you mean in a Pokemon battle? Okay, that's that makes more sense actually. Guess I'm off then, Josh. Let's meet up again sometime. You know it. We'll meet up anytime you want me. We'll meet up anytime you want. Oh, search. Let's do it. Let's do it. I actually kind of do want a Beautifly. I kind of like Beautifly as a Pokemon. I think it looks pretty cool. So this is a neat little feature. Actually, being able to search for the Pokemon you specifically want, or maybe a rare one in the area, and then hunt it down and actually claim it, and that's a sea dot. Why is that not a beautifly? So I guess I actually have to use it like a tracker, and it's not just the nearest one that pops up, unless it just gives you a chance to get the one that you wanted. Okay, yeah, it gave you a chance, so it was like, potentially it's gonna be a Butterfree, but potent not a Butterfree, a beautifly. They're all the same. Oh, we got another shot. We do. There seems to be a Pokemon somewhere. Okay, so then we actually have to hunt it down in the grass on the route. There is no reaction. Um, how about over here? Anywhere here? Come on, come on, it's totally here, right? Come on, Dex, tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. I'm loving this as a system, though. This is pretty cool. Maybe over here? No. A lot of grass here. Yes. Yeah, no. Potentially? Okay, I guess, I guess not. Oh! Aha! Try moving more slowly. I got this covered. I got this covered. Oh. Tackle and run away. That's really neat, though, that you can actually do that and see everything. 
That makes me really, really happy. We're going to get some good use out of that. I'm really enjoying taking this playthrough, you know, a lot slower and just enjoying things as they happen. I think that's the way to go with a Pokemon adventure. Just enjoy things as they happen. Welcome to the great city of Petalburg, where the Bergs do the petals. I don't know where I was going with that, but, you know, as long as you're aware. Hey, Nurse Joy, you want to heal my balls? Go for them, Nurse Joy. Put them on your machine and- Oh, God, the electricity! I regret my decisions. <laughs> We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Oh, you will. Here's my number. You can be sure of it. Now, excuse me, as I walk away from this Pokemon Center, sneaky style. I, I really, I will admit the sneaking is probably my favorite new feature so far. Where has Wally gone? I don't know. Where is Wally? I can't wait to find him. Anyone in here? I can't help notice you've got a nice little garden going on out there. Hey, I've just walked into your house, random lady. You should think about more security on the front door. And you. I battled Norman once, but he was way too strong. Ooh, how should I put it? I just really got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. But I mean... We're in, we're in the world that, like, literally everyone does, man. There's there's not a single person who doesn't like Pokemon. It's it's actually wit. This is clearly a kid, but at the same time, he looks really old from, like, the neck up. And I think we should just contemplate this as we stare into the wild blue yonder of this ocean. How's life? How is life? My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or maybe it's a look of somber silence, struggling with fear. What do you see in your face? Mate, I see my face. You're five. What somber fear have you experienced? Bloody hell. With this dark kid. So, who is this kid's mother? So, like, feed him more, I guess. What? What? A, okay, then. I love talking to random people. Oh, I wish I'd go on an adventure with Pokemon. Crawl through some damp grass. Are you... That's, that's, that's the first thing that you wanted. Oh, I wish I could go on an overseas adventure and crawl through damp grass. Sometimes I question people. I really do. Not bad, it was a good battle. Th th thank you, Senpai. Come back and challenge me again anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm going to do a special training with my Pokemon. Then I'll, then I'll challenge this gym. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. It's my daddy. That's my daddy right there. I feel like we shouldn't take that out of context, please. Can we please not? Why, if it isn't Josh. So you finished moving in. I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around out here talking when I could be saying things more in my epic trailer voice. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Dad. And then I'm going to annihilate you with my Pokemon. You know, I sure was surprised that you managed to get here by... Thanks. Thanks, Father. Thanks, um... So what you're saying is you didn't believe in me enough to... walk a couple hundred meters through open, grassy fields... in a very safe environment. You're a really good dad, actually. You're really fantastic. You... you have brought me up well. It is a good job I am leaving home and never returning. A trainer like you, mate, you're the leader of the first gym, you've got level, like, 10 Pokemon. I I'm gonna become a better trainer than you in about half an hour, so... Just really... Not good. Ooh, who is this? Yo, Wally. Oh, yeah, Wally. Y yes, I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Ver Verdant Turf Town for a while, but I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring a Pokemon with me. When I've never caught a Pokemon by myself, I'm not sure if I can. Mm-hmm, I see. Josh, I don't know why his voice is switched. Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. Wally, receive Zigzagoon. Why do you have a Zigzagoon, man? You're a gym leader and you got a Zigzagoon. To be fair, to be fair, alright. I'll give you a Pokeball too, so give it your best. To be fair, all the gym leaders have 
a set of Pokemon ranging from incredibly weak level 10 all the way to level 100, and they choose Pokemon that best matches up with the Challenger's Pokemon. So technically speaking, the strength of the gyms is only determined by the order you face them in terms of the lore on the world. So it's not that the first gym leader is just a terrible trainer, but somehow a gym leader. It's just that he deliberately uses weak Pokemon because you're a fresh trainer. So it does make sense in that context, but I still like to make fun of him a little bit because, you know, Norman! Pokemon hiding the tall grass like this, don't they? Yep, just run in. Yeah, the second you get attacked, I am leaving, man. It's it's too amusing to watch you get murdered by wild Pokemon, actually, so... Yeah. Oh, you got a Ralts, you son of a bitch! I want a Ralts! Gardevoir and Gallade is awesome! Ugh. Is this really the... Sorry, is this the capture tutorial? Watching this guy... It actually is, isn't it? That's amazing. <sighs> it's gonna fight him. Yep. Okay. Go on, crit. Knock the routes out. Oh, it didn't. That's a surprise. I'm surprised at that surprise. I am. I also do apologize if I've not sort of progressed far enough this episode. A lot of you were like, yeah, it's fine. Take your time, man. Take your time. Enjoy it. And, you know, it's what I want to do. But I also don't want to go in the opposite direction and be like, you spent 25 minutes in one patch of grass, you absolute... Oh. And this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, species of all ages, is how you throw a Pokeball at a po... Like, why, why is it not a part of the game that if you get to this stage and you have already caught Pokemon then it skips this this catch tutorial. Because I realise it's character development for Mr. Wally here, as you know, the patheticness he is that gets a freaking Gardevoir by the end of the game. Or Gallade, I think it probably will more likely be. But, I don't care. I don't care about him. Do you care about him? He's got green hair. Do any of you ever care about anyone with green hair? Because I don't. Name one person with green hair that's cool. Yeah, you can't. Yes, it did. Thank you. Let me give you back your Pokemon, sir. And you, Josh, thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you that I was able to catch Ralphs. Yeah, I watched you do it, man. I really did. Trust me, I did not lift a finger. It's not much of a thank you, but... But, um, Josh, will you let me see your Pokenav Plus for a second? Okay, that and... Mm, there! Wally updated Josh's Pokenav Plus. You can now use the Planav features on your Pokenav Plus. I read in the book how you can use the Planav to take care of your Pokemon and train them. Ah, okay. So that's basically the, um, X and Y screen, but in its own little section. So that makes sense. That does make a lot of sense. So I've had all these kinds of apps installed on my Pokenav Plus for ages. Embarrassing, huh? I'm gonna try my best together with Ralphs. You do your best too, Josh. Oh, but my mum's waiting for me. I've gotta get going. Yeah, your mother's boy off your go, son, with your green hair. Back to me father. Hmm, that boy will be worth keeping an eye on, but for now, Josh! If you want to become strong as a trainer, listen to my advice. First, head for Rustboro City, which lies beyond this town. There, should you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day. Oh, he's not the first gym leader, is he? Fair enough. But that will only be after you become stronger, Josh. Well then. Alright, fine. Fine, I see how it is. I'll just leave. Think I care? I don't care. I'm a sneaky. I'm a sneaky sneakster. What is this? Wally's house. No, I don't want to go over there and get infected with lame. I think that just, that makes sense. Okay, Route 104, what hast thou got for me? A random person there, that's okay. Do I, do I care about whatever this is? Ooh. It is a, it is, um, it's a something. I can't actually tell what that is. I wonder if that's deliberate. Ha! Oh, I really wanted to see if you could suddenly sprint at it, but I guess that's not something you're allowed to do. Hey, if you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. <sighs> just... Don't you just love the early areas of a Pokemon game? Aren't they just the best? Okay, we got some Wingle. I'm liking that we got a lot more Pokemon out in the field. I don't think it is true. I think you all just invented this rule to try and rob more people. Which is fair enough, honestly, but, you know, I don't necessarily want to be part of it. Hey, let's fight. Yeah, we go. I got a level Lieutenant Leaf. Because, you know, I gotta leave this place and then leave you all behind. By getting more levels and then killing you with your... Killing you with your own Pokemon. That would be impressive, actually. I'll admit, I'm a little bit muddled right now, but that's okay. 
That is a okay. Go pound! Lovely, lovely. He got a good pounding there. Again, it's just really bad. I mean, I realize it's bad when I'm saying it, but I can't resist, but then I instantly regret it, and I probably should still be using quick attack. <sighs> sometimes, guys, sometimes. I got no follow-up to that, just sometimes. You know, we're on a beach, we're having fun. It's nice and sunny, the water's crystal blue. Everything looks really nice. We are getting inexorably closer to that first evolution on Lieutenant Leaf, and I'm... I'm excited and happy, and I think that's okay. I really do want a Taylo though. Like, I love, I love Swellow. Oh no, it's not Swellow I love, but I hate Swellow. I realize I just went from love to hate very quick there, but it's actually Staraptor that's my favorite basic bird of a generation. Though, Swellow is pretty good as well. I mean, you know, definitely not the worst, but... I don't know. We'll see what we encounter. I'm not really opposed to anything. I want to capture a lot of Pokemon, especially as I'm not bound by Nuzlocke anymore. I think it makes a lot of sense to just capture whatever the hell I feel like, so I'm going to definitely do that. And anything going on over here? No. Okay. Do I want to fight? Well, actually, I guess I should fight the Fisherman, because... I mean, if you want to know, just, just go in, mate. Just swim in the sea, sink down, you'll have a royal good time. Mr. Briny lives in that little college there, by the sea. He was once an amazing sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. What? What a baller. What an absolute baller. Okay, Mr. Old Man. What do you got to tell me? Ho 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 ho! Wait, no. Ho 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 ho! Mr. Pretty Pickles is full of energy as usual! I really was hoping he'd give me more than that, but... I guess that's all that's happening. <gasps> no one's home! Let's steal everything! I, I can't. There's nothing steal. Oh, why can't we have a Pokemon game where we can actually become like a thief and stuff? It, it you know, it, it boggles the mind. It really does. Oh, let's uh, get our search on. Not before we've uh, stolen some more berries, though. We do need to completely take them. I don't know why... In the act of picking this fruit, does the tree disappear in sort of magic blue dust? I mean, if in real life you, like, take an apple off a tree, and then the tree disintegrates in front of you, I feel like maybe, maybe you'd be a little bit freaked out, but that's okay. Ooh, is there a Pokemon somewhere? Where is it? Hidden Pokemon. Where are you? Oh. There is no reaction. I want to find it. I do. This system is really quite addicting. Oh, wild encounter. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to call? Who's it going to be? Great. Great. Brilliant. Zigzagoon. That's why I always wanted. I, on Christmas morning, want to open a box and find a Zigzagoon in it. And a live one. I don't mean like a corpse. That's That'd get really morbid really fast. That'd probably ruin, ruin the tone of Christmas, actually. Now that I think about it. So I can't go around there anyway. So I guess we'll move on to the forest. Full of lovely bug Pokemon. And hopefully we get something other than a... No, Wormple. Okay, that, that... When I said lovely bug Pokemon, you're not one of the ones I meant. I know you do end up as a Beautifly that I previously stated I would have liked. But I don't have the patience to train you up from level 5. Despite you evolving really early and potentially becoming quite an asset early on in the game. And from a tactical side of things, that would make sense. But when you're not playing Nuzlocke, you don't need to be... Tactical, you just need to have fun. You need to just wreck your opposition with everything. You need to have a plan to faint everyone you meet. Especially when someone is Rich Boy Winston. Brilliant. Go, Lieutenant Leaf. Let's do it. Can't wait to mug this guy. It's going to be really, really satisfying. After quite a few, quite a few quick attacks. I'm actually going to test real quick. In fact, I could test by just looking at the Pokemon. In terms of looking at the Pokemon, actually, I need to go see what nature my Trico is rocking with, because I'm hoping it's something largely beneficial. Otherwise, that would be really quite upsetting. Go, Quick Attack! Do it once more, my friend! Show no mercy. None. No mercy will ever be allowed in here. Good. And once again, Quick Attack? No, nope, full restore. All right, yes. Guess we're doing this again. Sorry, why can random trainers full restore? I don't remember that ever being a thing, and I'm kind of upset about about the whole thing now. Just, 
That's really kind of sucky, now that I think about it. How many times are we going to go through this? How many times must I be forced through this torment? Because I think too many. I think too many, guys. Am I right? Tell me. Tell me, people. All of you faithful in the comments. <gasps> tell me true. And of course, by all you faithful, I of course mean the Church of the Squish. Which is, you know, the powerfulest church in the world. And clearly, the correct one. But that's a conversation we're not going to go down in a Pokemon episode. hey -oh. Oh, please die, Zigzagoon. Probably should use my grass move, though I think that's also physical, so it wouldn't really be that much. Oh no, maybe it's special. It's absorbed. We'll see what happens. I'm going to feel a little bit upset. If... Yeah, should have done that straight away, honestly. Probably should have done that straight away. But, you know, it's kind of a weak move, but I guess when I've had my attack load that much, I'm not, I'm not thinking tactically. As I said, guys... I'm obviously not going to do stupid stuff to the point of losing, but sometimes you just got to pound away. Sometimes you just... When in doubt, pound about, okay? Alright, that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Why am I... Why am I... Did I just... I swear I just got frozen in... Oh! Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Aha! Uh -huh. What are you? What are... It's a Wingle. It's a Wingle. I suddenly have zero interest. Run away! Run! Acknowledge that I'm running at you! No, it's just not gonna do it. I don't care. I don't care. Really, really don't care. So yeah, done everything. Let us move on into yonder forest where we may seek true answers to life's main questions. Also known as Petalburg Woods. And I think this is a good opportunity to... Oh, oh, never mind. We will take another encounter first. Yes, we will. This is like a free spike. It's going to be a worm pull, isn't it, actually? It's totally going to be a... Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it is a level 14 worm pull. Really? In that case, I'm going to catch it, because that should evolve, like, straight away, right? Here we go. I'm actually, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this, because if it's level 14, that's way higher level than the general wild Pokemon, right? That's like four levels above Trico, Mr. Lieutenant Leaf, so I feel like this is definitely something, wow. Oh yeah, I thought it's the other way around. <gasps> oh, I only did eight. That's alright. Oh, and it poisoned him. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Well, we got potions for days, so we'll just see what happens. I'm a little bit concerned, though. I'll admit, um, why is it level 14? Is this just a random bonus that can happen? Because if I can catch this... Good lord. Good, good everything. That is, hmm. We are potentially, ladies and gentlemen, going to use a potion on, uh, going to leave here. Yes, we are. And I'm going to hope, beyond hope, that this Wormpole here stops using Poison Sting because it's a stupid wild Pokemon tackle. That's at least a little bit better. Ooh, it crit, didn't it? It didn't crit. That wasn't a crit. Are you critting serious? Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm definitely going to catch this guy. This Wurmple has proven his might. He is He is just a... He is a fierce competitor, isn't he? There is no two ways about it. God damn it, stop using Poison Sting. I may just go for the Pokeball here and then hope that it catches. That's... That's my entire plan, actually. Um, I believe in the power of my balls. Go! Go, Pokeball! RP, RP, press A at the right time. One rock. Da-dun. 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 Da-da-da-da-da-dun. The capture song! The capture song, ladies and gentlemen, never fails. Every single time. That was awesome, though. That was really awesome. Level 14. A lot of XP as well. I'm going to have to take another wild encounter because I need to know that was just a randomly ridic strong worm pull. I am loving this system of random encounters though, I really am. Oh, okay, so nickname time. I gotta remember if this is going to end up as a beauty fly, so I gotta give it something appropriate towards that. I'm pretty sure it's the beauty fly, not the dust ox one. Dust ox is hoeing, right? I can't remember exactly. What am I like with my pokey knowledge? Um, I'm gonna go for... I wasn't expecting this. Um... 
I'm going to call him Terry. No, not Terry. I'm going to call him Terry, guys. Meet Terry the Wormpull. He's a really swell guy. Gorgia? I want something re representing his resilience, honestly, and his, his supreme power that he was so strong as a Wormpull. Level 14 in a level 5 area. What... What can make that... Hmm... <laughs> I might go really over the top with him. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go really over the top with this Pokemon and unleash the 12-year-old Namer inside me, and he is going to be Deathbringer. Go Deathbringer! The Wormpull! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah, uh, he's just gonna mwahaha everyone while he kind of tickles them. Deathbringer the Wormpull. I am liking it. So, what I am gonna do is switch Mr. Deathbringer here. <laughs> Deathbringer! Oh, what a lame name, but so good at the same time. I need to take another encounter, because I'm either really too far on for my level, or he was particularly powerful. So, we're gonna find out here. Deathbringer, off you go. Yeah, level 6. He was just particularly powerful, so that's really, really neat. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a sterling place to leave it for the episode. I apologise if I was a little bit overbearing in terms of commentary. Like, I feel like I may have been too... Oh, no, no, and not enough pay attention to the game, but as I said, it's early on and I'm in, just, I'm in an excited mood and... You know how it is. I'm also, you know, sorry for apologizing for things so much because I know that annoys people. I just want to please everyone. That's all it comes down to. I just want to please everyone. I know I can't, but I want to, okay? Damn it. Ah, this has been episode two. My name has been Rage. I'm going to like you if you've enjoyed this. It really does help me, guys. Support the series. Make it great. Oh, I love it. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye. You've been watching.